another day in the life of your single lady remember i have Ziba francis i'm showing you what usually goes on in my regular single woman's life to let you know that it's not so bad you can live a single fulfilling and satisfying life so here i am from yesterday's waka um, after the sightseeing trip, I just couldn't do anything else. I only went to the prostitution center where we are reaching out to, to women today to set a date for today. We are going with Bibles and a copy of my book, Eniola, for women who have been abused or have pain and heart, um, heart stuff in their life that they need to heal from. So we are going with both things. And you as a single woman can also drive God's vision in your heart just like this. So come along with me as I go on my day and on a mission that the Lord has given to me as a single woman today. A life in the day of a single woman. <laughs> going with the book and your love because of course God wants to heal his women. And the book of Eliola is really a book about redemption, about forgiveness, and about how Jesus Christ can make you whole again. Forgive you and make you whole again. So let's go. Like me. Because that time, it just be like, say, church now for... I be clean people. Church now for people where their life better righteous and holy and me are not righteous and holy but one day i just start to think say i want my life to change i not like this relationship one day with this boy and he go smoke he go he go do this and I, and I was less than 20 years i never reached 20 years when all these things they happen for my life my family no no my mama no no my papa no no nobody no but that night I just, they tell God, I say, God, I'm not like this situation where I did. I beg, help me. And every time where I, they explain this, I know they know how to explain this part because it just be like, say, I, God hug me, embrace, God embrace me. There was an embrace. And from that embrace, it was like I felt he has forgiven me. He has forgiven me. And he will accept me. Yes, ma. No, but I did for relationship with a boy. When he say na abortion, I end up. I had two abortions for that relationship. My papa no know, my mama no know. I did not like it. But it's just be like say, I know go feel come out. You understand that kind of thing? It's just be like say, I know feel move. It's just be like say, if I leave this thing, no life again. Because the whole relationship, because because my parents, not be really love, nah. Nah, I, I don't know how to explain them. Number one, my parents. My parents, you know, say number one, my parents were divorced. So, inside me, they're not there again. So, for my mind, it'd be like saying now, if I get, if I feel get that kind marriage, when we date together, then maybe I go do okay. You understand? So, from my family background, my mind, though they affected. So even though say this thing I'm not like I'm not be the better thing for me, it just be like say if I come out then I will be like my mother. You understand? So the compensation where they try to give to myself be say I don't want to be like my mother. So even though say this one bad, make I stay there. <laughs> you know say. Small one for back. Eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, you go say that this one, 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 and this one, fine. <laughs> this one, get here. 
<laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> so, if you read the book, you go see Francis. Francis for real life, not me. When I small, my parents divorce. So, my family, not that family, where Papa and Mama they fight. Okay, ma. Okay, so my family. My family, not that family, where. Papa and Mama. I go give you uh, why not? <laughs> I go give you the book, why not? 